Hi everyone, just an update on our um, hydroponic systems, just getting in this Christmas spirit here. As you can see, we've mellowed it up a little bit. A little bird on the front here and over here we've got a little koala. Uh, just looking pretty nice. Um, you can see here, we've changed the nutrients this morning, so um, everything's going pretty good. Um, we've had so much smoke here lately, um, you can't even see the sun's disappeared. But the sky is still full of smoke all around, it's pretty hard to see probably on the camera, but we've had weeks and weeks like this, so um, a lot of the uh, leaves on the plants there, I'll just show you here, they're not, they're getting some marks in them because they're just not getting the sunlight, and it's getting, um, we're getting a lot of ash on the ground and on the plants here, but I'll just show you anyhow, we're going pretty good here, and um, yeah, just getting into the spirit. Uh, you can see here, this is the um, butternut pumpkin. It's going really well. You can see it's right up at the top here. It's, you can see here, it's just going along. So I just want to do a bend. But um, we've got some fruit coming out of the already. You can see in here. There's one here. There's one over here as well. And they're going pretty good. Had a big, huge flower this morning. The flower's already died off. But it was huge this morning. It's going really well. And there's a lot more flowers coming on it, as you can see. We've also got another vine coming off here. You can see the water's turned on now. Just using these tomato clips. And that sort of keeps the water onto the plant, you know, into the, um, we're using clay balls here, hydrogen. So you can see here, this plant's going really, really well. It seems to be quite happy. Um, then we've got these three here. These are uh, watermelons. Just put these strings on them ready from the start climbing to see. They're just starting to take off now. And you can see here, you get these little feelers out here now. You can see right there. These little feelers are coming out on the plants, so they're going to get ready to start climbing. So the fruit, as with the butternut pumpkin, we're going to leave the fruit hanging up on the fence here, so it look pretty cool. I've done um, Kajari melons like that before, put it up on the fence instead of on the ground. Um, with the Kajari melons, once they get ripe, they fall, so you know that they're ready. And they, have, they change colour from green to orange, um, like virtually overnight. So, um, yeah, this is our one of our um, strawberries here, you can see all the flowers on it. This is the red flower variety. It's got some strawberries coming on it here, you can see. It's just going pretty well. And um, on the other side over here, this is our Kong Kong. This is six days old. You can see the growth in that in six days. So yeah, and you can see underneath all the roots. Just going really, really well. Just like a little crack piece set up here. Just going quite nice. And um, over here, this here you can see, this is an eggplant, this is a white eggplant. You can see here we've got some, a lot of flowers coming onto it now. Just going really well. And this fella here, this is a this is a purple eggplant. And it's growing nuts. And you can see with these purple ones, they actually have little thorns on the leaves as well. But they're going really well, you can see there's a lot of flowers on it. If you look further down in here, there's actually a, a fruit just starting to form just inside here as well. As you can see that. Right there. And the next two are stringing up some tomatoes here. These tomatoes, these are going nuts. They seem to grow taller and taller every day. And you see all the flowers are ready to um, have fruit on it. These next three tomatoes, we went away for a couple of weeks, or nearly three weeks. And um, these here, um, they just got, yeah, they just didn't get the water. So they nearly died. So we're just trying to nurse them back to health. You can see here, it's starting to come good. The old leaves, I don't think they'll ever do anything. They're just staying like that. But, uh, instead of throwing out, we just thought we'd give them a go. You can see here, they're going pretty good. The middle one's not doing as good, but we'll just see what happens. And um, might have to pull him out. We'll just give it a go anyhow. And over here, guys, these are um, capsicums all along here. And these are growing really well too. Lots of new, glue. you can see here, lots of new leaves coming on. They're quite happy as well. The one over here, you can see some little capsicums coming in here. Coming in here. So it's going really well. Here goes, this is a, um, a 20 bucket system that we pick the buckets up, you know, like a dollar each, and set the whole thing up. Yeah, the water's just turned off. Everything's running off grid on solar power. And um, yeah, also here, you can see, this is a tangelo tree. We've got some others still growing down the bottom, but these are tangelos growing here. And there's more on the other side. This all new shoots. So this here, we're growing it in cocoa peat and clay balls down the bottom here and it seems to go really well we're giving up nutrients there's some more fruit here so that's going really good there's another one here 
just going good too. And uh, over here, guys, this is going well too. This is a great, this is a black musket. We're just trialing it also hydroponically. And um, you can see here the feelers are coming out. They're getting taller and taller. So hopefully this will taste pretty good. Well, this is also in cocoa peat and clay balls, a mixture of the two. The clay balls seem to hold the moisture, but the cocoa peat does as well, but the clay balls are just holding a little more moisture. So we're feeding this nutrients as well, as it is the black musket here. And um, also we're putting some eggshells in here as well, which seem to help. And this one here, this one was also uh, when we went away for three weeks, it, um, it got neglected and it didn't get enough water. So um, it's taken off again now. It's going really well. It's gonna, getting some flowers on it now. And it's starting to take off. The leaves are going well. This is a giant tomato. So this should have one kilo tomatoes growing on it. There's also, it's just going really well. If you want to see the build, how we build these, um, you can see on my uh, Facebook page, Alan's DIY Projects, I've got all my solar projects on there from all sorts of things uh, you can see on there. And um, you can like my page also on um, fa the Facebook group we've got for hydroponics, Solar Hydroponics Redefined. You can um, join on there also if you like. So that's all going well. I'll just show over here the NFT. Over here, this is the solar panels that's running everything. Here's the NFT system here, which uh, you can see is running now. The water spurts out here. So with these here, the water comes up from the bucket comes up this line here and runs through each pipe and inside the pipes each one's just got its own little squirter it's just a three mil hole drill and then the water comes all the way through to the end and then returns back into the reservoir this in here guys is the system that runs it all and um, for those who don't know i'll put this foam on the front here because i get days of 40 degrees here at the moment and it really heats up all the electronics in there that i built to make it all run Along here, guys, this is all iceberg lettuce going along here. So they're all going really, really well. The next two rows is um, this pak choy. And they're going okay. Some of them are a little bit burnt because um, they're getting a lot of hot days here because they're only tiny plants. But um, I think they'll pull through okay. And the next two um, are bok choy. And the bok choy are going through as well. And then over here, we have some chili plants here and they're all going pretty good and this one here's a tomato we'll have to move him when we um when he gets too big otherwise we'll clog the pipe and these here they're starting to change color now the smoke's been really affecting these too these are butter beans and um, they're starting to come darker now and they're getting beans on them so yeah they're going not too bad down here we've all got these are all kale plants all down here we've still got a few more to put in so system holds 120 plants and it's nearly full there's only about less than 10 to go and um, once it gets going, it'll look really, really good once they all get full up. And over here, guys, these are little cracky setups. This one here, this one here, you can see this is uh, this is a mustard plant. And here with these are kung kong. We've already had one harvest and cut it, and they've grown a fair bit, like that high, since that too. So you can see them in there. And on the other side here, there's a little bok choy in here too. So yeah, they're all going nicely. And uh, there's a little Australian bee you can see here. Turn around. On the top there. Little tiny black fella. There's not many bees around in this country now. And here we germinated some Kong Kong seeds, which sometimes we do them in tubes and we do them in these as well. And uh, they're going really well. I think the process happening so we can always get enough. Over here also is the crack pea systems as well. These tops, yeah, we bought these overseas and these this buckets, they hook straight on and hold them down so it's good so there's no wind can blow them away. These are all bok choy here as well. So they're going pretty good. You can see all the roots in them as well. So they're going quite good. There's another setup over here. These are on my weights, sitting on my weights here. And over here. There's another little bok choy. These are little basils. And the basils are really good too, the bok choy here. So in these little crackly systems, they seem to grow very, very well. As you see in the, um, the Kong Kong as well. So there you go guys, these will be all up and running soon and have plenty of plants. Um, like growing really nice and tall soon.
won't take long. And um, yeah, so that's about it, guys. I'll just give you another look over here. Let's get in the Christmas spirit. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching.